Yeah, you know, members of Cincinnati School Board are meeting right now. First behind closed doors before their regularly scheduled meeting gets underway at 530. And we're monitoring what is said to see what impact a letter that you've talked about there, Mike, that's highly critical of CPS's superintendent, what impact that letter might have. In August, during the first day back to class for Cincinnati Public Schools, Ironetta Wright made it clear she planned to be very forward facing. The district's new superintendent said, quote, the major part of her days are spent visiting schools, finding time elsewhere to handle her administrative duties. Interacting with students, looking at their faces, seeing what's happening in classrooms, being able to engage with teachers, look at the curriculum that we're doing in classes. It happens in school buildings. Being a change agent is a label Wright has leaned into ever since. Everybody wants change until change shows up. Right? We want it, we want everything to change or we want things to change as long as it doesn't impact what I'm doing every day. We're now learning that Wright's style has rubbed a union representing CPS administrators like principals the wrong way. In a letter given to Board of Education President Ben Lindy, union representatives say Wright has effectively tossed collaboration out the window, choosing instead to be a micromanager who's created a culture of intimidation and fear and who embarrasses employees in meetings. The letter goes on to say that because of the way Wright works, many employees have left, are leaving, or looking for employment elsewhere. In response, Wright and Lindy released a joint statement. Wright says she respects the union's concerns and will work to address them. Lindy says he's dismayed anytime staff members feel their concerns are not heard, but he's convinced Wright's commitment to CPS continues to grow every day. Now, it's not clear at this point what union representatives of that union representing administrators and principals, what they think of that joint statement from Superintendent Wright and Board President Ben Lindy. Uh, the union's letter that was dated March 9th, 9th does say that nothing is off the table, including a possible vote of no confidence. Reporting live outside a CPS board headquarters, Todd Dykes, WWT News 5.